The Obelisk 65FC from Geek Vape. The Obelisk 65FC was sent to me for a review from Geek Vape. The 65 is because it goes up to 65 watts, and FC stands for fast charging. This is a pod mod with a big battery and all of the features of a regular vape device. It goes from 5 to 65 watts, it has temp control, it has two internal 1100 milliamp hour batteries, it has a USB-C charging port, the size is 27 millimeters in width, 42 millimeters thick, and 101 millimeters tall. And you can get this for around $64 from geekvape.com. In the box is the Obelisk 65FC device, one 4.5 mil pod, two coil heads, USB-C charging cable, a coil removal tool, and spare parts. The Obelisk 65 comes in seven different designs at the time of this review. So you have lava, peacock, ruby, scarlet blue, sapphire, navy blue, and rainbow. And what I like about all of these designs is that they're all so different from each other, so it really gives you an option to find something that you like. The design is on both sides of the device, and it looks really nice. The designs do appear to be stickers, because there's one little spot where I can feel like I can peel it off, but otherwise, it's embedded into the frame pretty well. On one side is a USB-C charging port, and then on the front panel is the firing button, which is really stiff and clicky. Then you have a bright colorful screen, and then two up and down adjustment buttons. The screen shows the mode, wattage, battery charge, coil resistance, voltage, and a puff counter. All right, now let's talk about the battery. There are some really cool things to talk about here. So the Obelisk 65FC has two 1100 milliamp hour batteries inside that come to a full charge from zero to 100% in only 18 minutes. This device charges fast. I don't think I've ever seen anything charge that fast before. This is possible because the Obelisk 65 supports the newer type of battery charger, the USB-C power delivery or PD charging adapter. This is a newer charging technology that makes it possible to create high power adapters in much smaller sizes. For example, today's standard phone charging adapters output five watts, whereas the MacBook charger outputs upwards of 60 watts. Well, now we're starting to see something like that MacBook charger in even smaller power blocks. The Obelisk supports power delivery adapters ranging from 15 to 45 watts. I'm really surprised at how soon Geek Vape has adopted this fast charging technology, especially considering how slow the vape industry as a whole was to move away from micro USB to USB-C. So I think that's uh, pretty innovative of them. The 65FC also has on the go or OTG reverse charging, which means this thing can actually be used like a power bank to charge other devices like your phone. You just need to put the device in OTG mode and then plug anything you want to charge into it. Now we'll need to be a USB-C charging cable that goes in here, but that's all you need. All right, let's talk about modes. So you have power mode. This is your general wattage mode. And you can set your wattage anywhere from five to 65 watts. Then you have smart mode. This mode automatically sets the wattage range to what the coil can handle. For example, if you're using the 0 0.4 ohm coil head, the device won't let you set the wattage higher than 33 watts. I really like this feature because you can vape without having to worry about the settings or accidentally burning the coil. Temperature control supports stainless steel and is adjustable from 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 to 315 degrees Celsius. And you have TCR mode. This mode lets you set the TCR values for any type of temp control wire that you might be using. VPC mode lets you adjust the wattage for each second of your hit. And then bypass mode lets you set your wattage based on the resistance of the coil and how much charge you have in the battery. All right, now the pod. At the top of the pod is a removable 510 drip tip, and below that is the adjustable airflow ring. The pod holds 4.5 mils of liquid. To fill the pod, lift up the silicone plug at the top. This is a nice feature because you can fill it up while it's still in the device. The pod uses replaceable coils, which is always a plus for pod devices, although these types of pods with replaceable coil heads tend to have slow leaks. And that's no different here. If you let this sit for a couple of days inside the device, you'll find liquid in the pod chamber. So the coil heads plug right into the bottom of the pod. You just need to make sure that the flat sides of the coil go into the slot so that the coil sits tight. And this kit comes with two coils from the B-Series line of coils. You have a 0.2 ohm, which is rated for 50 to 58 watts. And this coil works great within its full range. And I don't have any problems at all with running it constantly at its max of 58 watts. I get a lot of vapor and the flavor is excellent. And then you have a 0.4 ohm coil. This coil is rated for 25 to 35 watts. This one is more restricted than the 0.2 ohm coil, even with the airflow ring wide open, so you're gonna get a restricted lung draw on this one. The flavor is really good here too, but not as good as a 0.2 ohm coil, mostly just because it's lower wattage, I think. All right, my final thoughts. I really like the Obelisk 65. 
The fast charging capabilities are really cool, and I love that I can use the OTG mode to use the device as a portable power bank. The coils put out some really good flavor, and the device overall just performs well. The only drawback that I have is that the pods leak from the coil heads over time, so you do need to make sure that you check on them regularly and wipe them down. The Obelisk 65FC was sent to me for a review from GeekVape, and you can get it from them for $63.99 from geekvape.com. Alright, thanks for checking out this review, and I'll catch you in the next one.